Grania, we're back! March, Don Hung, and you. It's wonderful you made it to the address. Sorry, I know the invitation was very last minute, but I needed to get the news out as soon as possible. The longer people waited, the more rumors started to swirl. The situation risked spinning out of control. Oh, she was there. She just made sure no one could see her. Azealia is still new to the vastness of the overworld. She feels uncomfortable in a big crowd. I'll help her adjust to life here. That was some speech, Branya. If I had to talk like that in front of a huge crowd, I'd be shaking head to toe. It was all just a bunch of palatable lies. I hope you never have a similar experience, March. I prefer to be honest with the people. But I also want to preserve their hope. Don Hung, wanna talk about Mr. Yang's findings? Mm. Allow me to explain. Which means... The Fragmentum has already taken root by this point. Even though the Stellaron is sealed, we won't be able to reverse the damage immediately. I know. Our ancestors wouldn't have risked using one if they'd had other ways of avoiding calamity. You've gone out of your way to save this world. You nearly lost your life. I have no right to ask for more. Besides, I agree with Mr. Yang. Ultimately, the fate of Bellabog is in the hands of its own people. In that case, as a leader, I must give you a promise of the same weight. We will hold out with everything we have until the day you trailblazers return. Even if it takes another 700 years, the children of Yarilo 6 will look up to the sky with hope in their hearts. So long, my friends. May the preservation bless your journey. Congrats! That was one heck of a first trailblazing expedition! Worth celebrating, I'd say. Five. Two and a half? What? That run of the mill, huh? Hmm. My scoring criteria are different from yours. <sighs> anyway, we should be asking you. Any thoughts you want to share? That's the spirit! Come on, we should take some more photos before we head back to the express! Let's go! One more round in the administrative district!
It's getting late. Where to now? Branya said she's willing to wait 700 years for us. Huh. Don Hung, how long can humans live for? Mm. Forever. But in that scenario, they can't be considered human anymore. Yikes, so serious. I was just curious. next. Oh, we haven't seen Sir Vol since we got back. Let's head to the workshop. Who 
Who's there? Didn't your parents tell you to knock before? <laughs> it's you three! Oh, come on in! I was just talking to Clara about you. How have you been, big sister? Mr. Fall's workshop is amazing! There are all kinds of things. I like it here a lot. Miss Serval? Clara is such a well-mannered kid. Meanwhile, the architect's children are still calling me auntie and making me feel old. Photo. <laughs> this feels like one of my fan meetups. <laughs> anyway, for you guys, I do autographs for free. Photo. Oh. I remember. When I was little, Mr. Sparrow took a photo for me. Over here, Clara. Wanna learn some cool poses? Great! I wish the photographers at my shows had your skills. Huh? Am I really that short? I thought... Don't worry. If you eat like Don Hung, you'll be as tall as him one day. <laughs> uh, I'll let that slip. Here, keep it. A little farewell gift from the Astral Express. Huh? You're leaving so soon? <sighs> I understand. Well, this photo will always be close to my heart. I'll make a copy for you too, Clara. Th thanks, Miss Serval. Big Sister, March, Dunhung. Thanks for taking care of me. Safe travels. If you have time, please come back and visit me and Mr. Svarog. That's enough sightseeing and photo taking to last me a while. Time to head back to the Goethe Hotel for a good night's sleep. <sighs> we can sleep when we're back on the Express. Not so fast. Last time we were here, that evil Madam Guardian interrupted us before we'd gotten the most out of our luxury suites. Don't you think we should make up for it? Come on! Himeko and Mr. Yang are grown-ups. I'm sure they'll cope without us for one night. Besides, don't you want to chit-chat with the locals now that Bellabog is full of life again? I know I do! and have a look.
the end of your journey, all that perplexes you and troubles you will resolve. Oh, it was a close thing, all right. Good thing it dawned on me. Hey, Sampo doesn't have to be a protagonist, right? <laughs> the likes of us are better suited to, uh, shadowy comic relief, eh? Turns out the Astral Express crew is more fun than I expected. <laughs> you, you liked it? Really? <laughs> Told you so. No, no! I'm in no hurry to leave. <laughs> uh, what? Oh, Epsilon? <laughs> what fun can you get out of a giant vanity fair like that? <laughs> True happiness always entails the manifestation of the dignity of mankind. Now that's a quote I live by. Well, bye for now. Send my regards to the guys and girls in the tavern. Oh, and don't forget to say that Sampo Kaski will catch them for the next one. Time to make my curtain call. To you, my dear audience, I dedicate my performance. I wonder, could I bring a little more joy? into your lives. <laughs> you don't have to answer that, but if the answer is no, then you'll break my heart. We should be getting back to the Express. Time to find March and Dunhung. myself. You poor thing. I'll go check the lunar calendar. Today might be unlucky. Did you get Himiko's message? It's time to go. The conductor will nag us again if we put the express behind schedule. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Well, pack your souvenirs and stuff. Back home we go! Rightful Right Society? Here we are at last. <sighs> it's sad to say goodbye. Hmm. Nothing lasts forever. <laughs> You'll stop feeling sad the moment you set foot on the Express. Hey! 
I'm not that heartless, you know. Priorities? What do you mean? Are you saying rebuilding the underworld isn't one of your priorities? Of course not. I I'm just saying we have limited assets and we need new parameters. Assets, parameters. You sure love your fancy words. Ugh, forget it. Leave it to me. I'll go down myself. <gasps> Come on, Sila. I won't leave you to- Look, Branya! <sighs> There'll be plenty of difficulties waiting for them, right? Yes. Their future is filled with even more uncertainty than ours. But we will prevail here, even if it means arguments like this go on forever. <laughs> they won't go on forever if I win them. Welcome home, you three. Himeko, Mr. Yang! Team Trailblaze back from duty! Mission one accomplished! Although Welt and I didn't get the chance to go with you, I can tell you worked hard to bring things back to normal. Well done, everybody. And especially you. I heard a lot of good things about you. <laughs> and miss out on a great adventure? I don't think you'd like that. Get some rest on the Express. Your Relo 6 was not an easy ride. Pom Pom is of the opinion that we should leave as soon as possible to avoid potential resurgences of the anomalies we experienced earlier. Himiko and I agree. Which means we need to decide where our next destination is, soon. That's right. That's the path of the Nameless, I presume. Always on the road, always trailblazing. I'm not complaining, by the way. One adventure after another? That's exactly what I signed up for. <laughs> Looks like March has fallen in love with the Way of the Nameless. That's good to hear. You can head back to your rooms for some rest. Or stay here and make yourselves a cup of coffee. Whichever you like. I'll head back to my room then. <sighs> there I was thinking this guy would gradually open up. We need to give him some time, March. I think he treasures the time spent with you guys. About your battle against the Supreme Guardian and the whole Stellaron situation, you must have a lot of unanswered questions, I suppose. While you were away, Weld and I did some research and came to some interesting conclusions. Let me know if you want to ask about anything. Ah, home sweet home! Mr. Yang and Himeko must be bored given how long our train had to stay here. Where's our next stop? I can't wait! Shh! Checking Star Rail stability! Pom Pom needs to focus! The express crew tread upon the trailblaze. We travel between worlds, like a thread weaved into the life stories of others. The universe is vast beyond our imagination. It's a miracle that our paths converge. The fact that we get to know and travel with each other can only be seen as the design of destiny. Thank you for becoming our companion. I'll do my best to answer any questions you may have. It's virtually impossible to destroy a Stellaron. No one, not even Herda, has found a way to break its structure. The best we can do at this stage is to prevent its energy from overflowing. 
When the Supreme Guardian was defeated, the Stellaron that had been transmitting energy to her exposed its weakness to us for a brief period of time, allowing Welt and I to contain its power. That's about all we can do about a Stellaron. It may be suppressed for now, but it's only a matter of time before it regains power. But this brief window should allow the people on this planet to heal and rebuild. Sure. Oftentimes, those who are involved in historic events don't have the opportunity to see things from a wider perspective. I hope as an onlooker, I may provide some help. Is a Stellaron. There's no doubt about that. What I've gathered so far suggests it's likely that the Supreme Guardian was corrupted by the Stellaron at a very young age. All the tragedies that came after can be traced to that point. On the flip side, we can't judge Kokolia too harshly. Imagine if it were you or me who had to sit on the throne and watch the city slowly being brought to its knees. Would we not question what we believed in? Klopoth the Preservation is known for their... indifference. Unless you become a zealot like those with the corporation, it's hard to share in the Eon's power. Determined to preserve the world they loved, the Architects held on for hundreds of years. But as the Fragmentum continued to advance, their already wavering faith started to show some cracks. And one particular guardian, Kokolia, abandoned the path of preservation altogether. In contrast, you stood your ground and proved your faith in the Amber Lord. Judging by how the battle turned out, Klopoth responded to your wish. Their gaze infused you with the power to wield the weapon of a Supreme Guardian and to take control of the Colossus. <laughs> Don't mention it. Welt and I may have stayed on the Express this whole time, but we've been watching over you from the moment you set foot on your Relo 6. Friends look after each other. The same goes for us Nameless. Please remember, no matter where you are in the universe, the Express will always be behind you. Sure, ask away. We've got plenty of time. Well, may be better equipped to answer that. But if you want my two cents, I'd say it's unlikely. I guess it's possible, but it would take a long time. I can tell from your report that the new Supreme Guardian of Bellabog is a smart young lady with leadership qualities. What's more important is that she now understands her people after the journey with you. The firm and honest support she gets from people around her will also prove immensely useful. But fate likes to play tricks on people. Even if during their lifetime they manage to make Eurelo 6 prosper again to a certain degree, they will remain vulnerable and helpless to countless threats lurking in the recesses of the universe. We can only give them our best wishes from afar. You're most welcome. Have some rest. You've earned it. So, your first trailblazing expedition has concluded. How do you feel? Be it joy or pain, success or regret, it's all part of the journey. Those feelings will accompany you as long as you tread on the trailblaze, and one day you'll grow used to them. It seems you have something on your mind. Let's hear it. I'd like to hear a fresh perspective myself. Uh, <laughs> as talkative as Himiko is, we've pretty much run out of topics. I'm afraid not. As I've mentioned before, the Stellaron's influence on Eurelo 6 is more profound than we might think. I don't think Bellabog's fight against the lingering effects of the Stellaron will end anytime soon. But the balance of power is tilting ever so slightly towards humanity, the crucial factor being the hope you brought about. As intangible as it may sound, don't underestimate hope, because the power it inspires has no limit. 
Like the Stellaron, it's a seed that, that may grow into something much bigger. But, in my opinion, the fruit that hope bears will have a much bigger impact than that of the Stellaron. <laughs> Is that so? Well, I think you did the right thing. It's better to move forward with the burden of knowledge than to tread a perilous road with blind optimism. <laughs> I remember a distant world where the people were faced with unimaginable danger every single day. But they saved their planet time after time with wisdom and courage. This goes to show how much of a difference ordinary people can make. I hope your Relo 6 sees that too. <laughs> I too wish to go with you, but Himako insisted on letting you and your friends rise to the challenge. I'd been observing what's happening on the ground from the Express, and I have to admit that I got Wetty palms a couple times. I was glad to see you three meet friends you could trust and overcome hardships. Well done. Himiko was calm from the very beginning. She kept telling me to trust you youngsters' decisions. <laughs> and she was right. I really need to stop worrying so much. Likewise, get some sleep. We'll be heading off again soon. <laughs>